Hey everyone, this is Oscar from Underdog and today let's talk about shadow grooves. Shadow grooves don't actually exist in any kind of formal way, they are just the name that one of my students started to give to a particular type of kind of a sub rumble that's heard in some kind of house music. Actually, let me give you an example, this is what we're talking about. You hear how that sounds kind of like the way that a techno rumble would, but quite different. It's also low frequency. It also completes the groove of the kick. And yet there's something of a bit more loopy nature to it. It feels a bit more like a phrase rather than just a rumble that is a kind of an echo of the kick. So how would we go about creating such a low end element, which now we're going to call shadow grooves. I'll show you in this quick sound design video. Let's go. Before we go any further, like the video, subscribe to the channel and consider signing up for one of our classes on underdog.brussels. We are an online music school, not just a YouTube channel. Okay, to break a sound like this apart, first let's recognize that it sounds like a loop. That means it probably is a loop or at least a sound design trick based on a percussive loop. So first let's find ourselves a percussive loop that has a good rhythm to it. It doesn't have to have any of the other qualities that we're looking for. We just wanted to have a groovy rhythm. So I've got an example here, which is a loop of toms. It's a two bar loop, but I'm only gonna use the first half because I want it to be quite repetitive. And this is what it sounds like. This already has some stuff going on, right? Now, this loop, we're going to want to transform the sound to be able to transform it into something that is dark and more noisy and atonal and not so recognizable. And the magic tool that we've got to turn anything into noise, atonal noise, is the vocoder. Ableton's vocoder, out of the box, as the standard preset, is just white noise. So what it'll do is it'll take white noise and apply the rhythm and frequency distribution of this loop to that white noise. So in practice, what will happen is it'll be like this. So now already, we're already moving away from it being this out of the box drum loop to it being something else. And let's tweak some of the parameters until we get something that's probably going to groove well with a kick drum. Let's go for that. It's got a lot of nice, deep, chunky frequencies that we can use. And it's got a little bit of a annoying high end frequencies as well. So let's just cut those out using an equalizer. So we grab ourselves an EQ8, low pass it and find ourselves the point at which it is dark enough, not too dark. You don't want only sub frequencies. You want some mid frequencies too, so that you can actually still hear it even on small speakers. But let's find the sweet spot. Let's say this is the sweet spot. Awesome. Now we're really getting somewhere. Now when we play it with the kick, it's probably going to be a bit too busy. So let's try that. Not bad, but we're definitely getting in the right territory. We just need a few more things. I think that our loop is still a bit too busy. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the sections that we don't want. We can either do that by removing the parts of the tom loop just by deleting the source like going like this hop, delete and delete however what i'm going to suggest to do is instead i'm going to suggest that we use modulation now modulation in ableton can be a little bit of a tricky subject i find it to be more of an in intermediate and advanced level subject because it's actually kind of confusing you may be familiar in Ableton with automation, which is where you draw curves on the timeline. But what you can also do is modulate any parameter, which means that you print that automation onto the clip. So then whenever you drag that clip around, that automation will come around with the clip built into it. It's kind of like a secret level of automation. And what we're going to do is we're going to modulate the volume. So we're going to grab a utility plugin and going to right click and hit show modulation. That's going to show this here with this thin blue line at the top, which we can now, if we do control B, we can draw our own modulation shape in here. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the grid size to relatively large, one eighth note, for instance. And I'm going to mute some of the notes by just reducing the volume down to either zero or close to zero. My first thought is that I don't want this shadow groove to play at the same time as the kick. So what I'm going to do is the downbeats, I'm going to remove those a little bit. So removing the first kick. How about the second one as well? There would be one here and one here. So these are on the off beats, so we can leave those. So let's see what this feels like. As a final step, I might also filter out some of the ultra lows so that it doesn't get too clogged up there, so that the kick drum stays the main element in the sub frequencies. Cool, and now it's grooving. Let's put some extra percussion in there, so. So now we've created a shadow groove. Let me show you a second shadow groove that I prepared in advance. It would sound a bit like this. And there you go. This is another approach to having the low end groove that doesn't rely so much on toms. It just is creative sound design using low noise. Now, an extra level to this is that once you've got white noise playing a kind of a rhythm, a cool move is to put a resonator on there. So let's start from a basic sound like this. This is the perk sound. And then we put the vocoder on there. And then we put a resonator on there. And then we put the utility on there as well to do the cutting thing that we did previously. And we add some percussion. Cool, we're immediately in some kind of atmospheric room. There are a lot of different parameters here that are interesting, but particularly the decay and the color parameter are very fun to mess with. And immediately it gives this kind of atmospheric rolling organic kind of sound that would be quite hard to achieve with a synthesizer. I hope this gave you some ideas on how to use the vocoder and the resonator in a creative way, create some interesting levels of layers and grooves in your song. Check out one of the other music production videos here. Be good to one another, stay producing, take care, and bye bye.